know the second part of the video will, will give a guide on connecting your X's with your Google Sheets using Integromat. Basically, this means each time there's a new information on your Google Excel Sheets, you'll be receiving the data to your X's. Shortly, this, this video is about creating incoming webhooks on your X's using Integromat. Please go to X's Settings, App Store, Webhooks, Integromat, and as you can see, um, we're creating the webhook, um, web, webhook title right now. Um, as you can see in the example payload, any da data could come from the external resource from the from um, to your access. Therefore, um, it should be converted um, converted to a code which is written down on example payload. As you can see. Um, if you're trying to collect customer primary email, first name or last name, it should be written like this, and then it should the code should be copied on the script. Let's wait a few seconds until we create our webhook. Um, as um, we all, we we should also create um, attach the band and the channel. As you can see, the we have our webhook right now. You can see the token and the link. Let's go to let's go to Intercomat. First of all, you should create a new scenario. Search Google Sheets from the trigger types. We're selecting the Google Sheets right now. And from the trigger types, select watch rows. As you can see, it's loading since since we're gonna link our Google account. And from the trigger types, um, we selected watch rows and your email address must be connect connected. Select the Google Sheets. You want, you want your data to be written. Sheet one in our case, table content contain headers. These these are the rows that are identifying for in our in our case it's a one a one until e one first name last name email phone and content S since specific ID represents when to consider a new data has been written on Google Sheets it could be all of it which means you'll consider each row data as data or you can create it manually as well. Moreover, a new model has to be created, which is called HTTP. And the action is called make a request. Um, the integration link that was created on Xs must be copied in the URL section. The method should be post. And on the header section, the token must be copied as well. The body type should be raw, um, and the content type should be JSON. In the request content, the data will be ext extracted into Xs should be written. As you can see, I'm going to write the customer first name. As I mentioned before, it should be written specifically And I'm going to select customer first name, take a comma, and write customer last name. Select row B, take another comma, and write customer primary email. and choose row C. As you can see, it is very similar. Take, take a comma again and write primary phone and chose the row E. This action depends on your specific needs and it could be different information as well.
so our integral math is almost done. Let's write a write a new row in Excel in order to see whether the JSON is working. As you can see, the person that I'm creating is called Sarah Connor. In order to check this, please remember to press run, run once on your integral mat. So we're checking the webhook right now. As you can see, a new, a new row has been created on Excel since the number is above, above the Excel logo is written as one and the HTTP has run successfully since it says the steps until the finalization has been completed. Now let's go to, go to our access to see whether the content of the customer has arrived. As you can see, there's a new message from Sarah Connor. You can also see the customer has, has contacted us through the webhook. Let's double check the information of Sarah, Sarah Connor, whether the email whether her email and the phone number is appearing correctly. As you can see, everything is exactly the same because we've written it like this on our Excel sheet. Since the webhook has ran without any errors, let's save the integration. This is a little uh, little bit different because the saving schedule is um, different. It's really easy to save the um, save the webhook schedule. Let's check it. It has been saved. Hope you liked the video.